Hey, it's Coach Summer, and I just wanted to pop in with you because, man, there's a lot of exciting things happening in Akron, Canton, and throughout Ohio, right? So as we're heading into this cold weather, you might be like me and want to uh, get out the sweatshirts, bundle up, but there's lots of great stuff going on, right? We've got the World Series, we're heading into Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas, but for most Americans, that means we're headed into the dreaded weight gain season. So I just wanted to share with you today a few tips to help us combat weight gain season and help us even maintain our weight. Because the average American gains anywhere from five all the way up to 13 pounds from now until the New Year's. And if you're already at, you know, 20 pounds that you wanna lose, you really don't want an extra 10 come 2017, right? Wouldn't you rather be ahead of the game? All right, so I'm going to share a few tips with you. One of them is to set a rule that you're going to do 10 minutes of activity every day. Now, I always say it's better to start small than not start at all. So doing anything is going to be better than doing nothing. So if you're finding yourself hibernating this winter, you know, wanting to bundle up, I know I want to do it. You know, get up, get active, move around, get the blood flowing, because not only are you going to feel better, but you're doing good things for your body. You're sending out those feel-good hormones. You're lubricating those stiff joints and ligaments. You all know how over the winter time you get cold, right? And you're stiffer and, and might even experience some, you know, muscle and joint uh, pain. Well, get up and get moved. So set a rule every day that you do 10 minutes of activity. And then once you feel better, you might want to keep doing more, okay? Pretty simple. And that'll help you combat some of that winter bulge that we can get. <laughs> because you, you want to be fit and trim, right? Not stuffed like a turkey or, or Santa Claus. So let's try to combat that now instead of gaining weight. Um, I've had a lot of my customers come to me and say, you know what, I'm really worried this year because last year when I look back, I did gain 10 pounds. I had several ladies come to me and say, I gained 10 pounds last year, what can I do this year? So we're gonna instill that 10 minute rule. Another thing is make sure that you're drinking plenty of water. Drink water all day long because it flushes out the toxins, okay? So even if, you know, summertime, some people think, oh, drink water to take, you know, to keep you cool. Well, in the wintertime, sometimes people don't drink as much water. It is really important to stay hydrated even in the winter time, this is gonna help you stay fuller so you're not going to indulge in so much of those sweets, you know, from Halloween that trickles all the way to Thanksgiving. I know it's like two months of indulgement and now with the World Series, we have another reason to celebrate. So we really have to keep it in check, okay? So make sure you treat, but drink lots of water first or if you indulge too much, keep drinking water after the fact, okay? to flush it on out. This really can help you out. And a third tip is, you know, have healthy, good options around. So with Halloween, if you want to enjoy, you know, a treat or a candy bar, maybe try to find an alternative. For example, this is a Fit Joy bar that we have at Summer's Fitness, and it doesn't have all that added sugar, and there's also no artificial ingredients. So you can feel satisfied both you know, in your belly and on your taste buds, and it's not gonna add a lot around your waistline or your hips, right? Okay, so, you know, right now we're heading into weight gain season, the dreaded weight gain season, but I wanna tell you, I had several customers remind me of the weight they lost from now until New Year's last year. So it can be done. But one of the things we're doing to ensure our customers' success, and we wanna help you too, is we are offering a zero pound challenge. That's right. The goal is to maintain and not gain from now to New Year's. Because how awesome would that be when New Year's rolls around and you're like, you know what? I didn't gain any weight and it's an added bonus if you even lost weight, right? So then when you go and you hit that New Year's resolution and you enter our already awesome, we're gonna up the prizes, double this year over $1,000 in prizes for our New Year's Transformation Challenge, you're gonna be ready to go, right? That momentum's going and you can work hard. So now's the time to get on board. We have our 21 day jumpstart program and I'll put the link there for you. So check that out, the 21 day fitness and nutrition jumpstart program. 
And the goal is that we're going to help you maintain, not gain, from now through New Year's in our zero pound challenge. We've got a fun challenge going on, extra accountability, and we're gonna share with you, like we already do with our clients, how you can treat and lose weight. Like I said, I've got several customers that they reflect back and they're like, I lost weight last year, and you can too. So check it out at summers21day.com. Just go to summers21day.com or send us a message and get on board now so that you can be ahead of the game, maintaining your weight in our zero pound challenge, or even losing weight before the New Year's, okay? Because if you've already got 20 pounds, 40 pounds or more to lose, we don't want you to be one of those people that adds on an extra 10. Because the truth is, most of us do gain five to 13 pounds from now until New Year's. All right, so keep going and celebrating. Let's just do it in a healthy way. Go to summers21day.com, and we'll see you soon. Send me a message if you have any questions. Have a great day.